So this is the new Pop OS Cosmic Desktop Environment. So this is the login screen. And on the login screen, there's the date, there's the time. This is the network icons. These are some of the system icons here. And the default desktop environment is Cosmic. So if you have more than one desktop environment, it will show up here. This is the desktop. So this is the panel on top. And this is the dock. So on the top panel, there's applications. There's two workspace. So in the middle, this is the date and time. And if you want to configure more settings on the date and time, you can just click here. So on the right side, there's some icons here. This is the power icon. So there's settings, there's lock screen, there's logout, there's suspend, restart, and shutdown. This is for notifications. You can turn notifications on. So this is battery settings. And if you have a laptop, you can configure the battery settings here. This is battery, reduced power usage and performance. This is balance, standard performance and battery usage. And this is high performance. I'm going to leave it balanced. There's an option here, increase the lifespan of your battery by setting a maximum charge value of 80%. You can turn this on. And this is the power and battery settings. So this is a network icon. Gives the IP address of the computer. There's airplane mode. There's Wi-Fi. You can turn it on or off. This is visible wireless networks, network settings. So I'll click on the speaker icon and I can adjust the volume. There's also volume for microphone. This is output, input. And it says here, show media controls on top panel. You can turn this on. So this is the dock. And these are some applets on the dock. So I'm going to click on applications. So this is the library home. So on library home, these are the apps. This is office. So there's LibreOffice. This is system. This is utilities. There's Vim. So you can also create your own group. I'll click on add group. And I can type a name for the folder. I'll type my apps. So the my apps folder is empty. So I just have to drag some apps in the folder. I'll drag this cosmic settings. I'll drag settings. So I have the option also to delete the folder. So on the dock, there are some applets and there's Firefox. This is a Cosmic Files folder. This is the Cosmic Text Editor. This is the Terminal. And this is the Cosmic Settings. So I'm going to click on Cosmic Settings. I'm going to click on Desktop and Panel. So there's Launcher, Workspaces, Applications. So this is Window Controls, Show Minimize button. Right now it's on. I'll turn it off and it's not shown. I'll turn it back on and it appears. So this is the show maximize button. This is it here in the middle. I'm going to turn it off and it is hidden. I'm going to turn it back on. So this is the desktop panels and applets. So the panel, this is the top panel. This is the dock. I'm going to click on panel. So this is the behavior and positions. You can automatically hide panel here just by turning it on. Also, you can set the position of the panel on the screen. Right now it's on top. I'll select left and it's here. I'll select right and it's here. I'm going to leave it on top and there's also show on display. This is style. This is if you want a gap between the panel and the screen edges. I'll turn this on and you can see the screen edges here. There's a gap. This is extend panel to the screen edges. This is appearance and there's match desktop, light and dark. And this is light. This is dark. I'm going to leave it at match desktop so you can configure the size of the panel by just adjusting this slider. There's also background opacity, and this can be adjusted. So this is configuration, and here you can configure the panel applets. I'm going to click on that, and it's separated by segments. This is the sub segment section, which is here. This is the center segment, 
and this is the end segment. And I can add applets. I'll click on add applet. So I'm going to add the cosmic panel launcher button. I'll click add. And it's here. So it's in the start segment. I can also move this around. So I'll move the cosmic panel launcher button in the center segment. And it's here. So in the end segment, you can also move these around. And this will move the applets. So with the cosmic launcher, I just have to click on that and I can search for files. So I'm going to click on dark and right now the dark is on. I can turn that off. I can also automatically hide dark. And I can change the position of the dock on the screen. Right now, the default is bottom. I can set it to the left. I'll set it to the right. So I'm going to leave it at the bottom. And here you can configure how you want to show the dock show on display. And the default is all. This is the style. And this is the gap between the dock and screen edges. Right now it's all. I'll turn it on. This is to extend the dock to screen edges. Right now it's off. I'm going to turn that on. And you can see it's extended. So this is appearance. Right now it's set to match desktop. I'm going to click on light. There's also an option for dark. I'm going to leave it on light. And you can also configure the size of the dock. This is the background opacity, and this can be adjusted. So here you can configure the dark applets, and you can add extra applets here. Just click on Add Applets, and you just have to click on Add. And I can reset it back to default. So I'm going to click on Wallpaper. And here some settings. There's same wallpaper on all displays. This can be turned off. This is Wallpaper Fit. And you can select fill or fill to screen. So there's slideshow and this can be enabled. So you can also set the change image every. And there's a drop down tab here and you can select the minutes here. You can also add an image. I'm going to select this wallpaper. I'm going to change back the wallpaper to this. So this is appearance. And you can change from dark to light. You can also automatically switch from light to dark mode just by turning the switch on. These are the accent colors and you can also select a custom accent color. This is the style. So this is the Windows management section, active Windows in size. You can increase this or decrease it. This is gaps around the tiled windows. Its default is 8. So I'll click on workspaces. So this is multi-monitor behavior. If you have more than one monitor, you can set it where workspaces span displays or displays have separate workspaces. This is the workspace overview thumbnails. You can show workspace number. Can be turned on or off. Show workspace name. And this is the workspace orientation, vertical or horizontal. And this is notifications. So I'll click on input devices, click on keyboard, and you can add an input source here. This is a special character entry. This is alternate characters key. And this can be set. This is compose key. And this is keyboard shortcuts where you can view and customize shortcuts. I'll click on mouse. And this is the mouse settings. This is the mouse speed you can adjust. You can enable mouse acceleration by turning it on or off. This is the scrolling speed. And this is natural scrolling. So I'll click on touchpad and here you can configure the touchpad settings here.
I'm going to click on displays. This is nightlight settings. This can be turned on or off. So under display options, this is resolution and you can change it here. This is the scale. And this is the orientation. This is standard. I'll click on sound. This is output, input, alerts, applications. So this is system accounts. There's users. There's about. This is the firmware details. I'll click on time and language. This is the date and time settings. So this is region and language. So right now, workspaces orientation is configured for vertical. I'm going to select horizontal. So I'm going to open the workspaces app. I'll click on applications. Click on workspaces. So this is one workspace. I'll add another one. So this is how it shows. So I'm going to go to settings. I'll click on applications. I'll click on the systems folder. Click on settings. So there's the network and then you can configure your IP address here. There's also VPN. You can configure a VPN just by clicking on the plus sign. You can configure a network proxy. There's Bluetooth configuration. So this is the desktop settings. This is the background wallpaper. This is appearance. There's dark. There's light. This is the dock settings. This is the workspaces settings. There's dynamic workspaces, fixed number of workspaces, and number of workspaces. You can change that here. This is multi-monitor behavior. This is placement of the workspace picker. This is notification settings. There's do not disturb. You can turn that on. Lock screen notifications. And you can configure notifications for these applications. I'll click on applications and these are lists of the applications. This is privacy, location services, Thunderbolt, file history and trash. You can empty trash, delete temporary files, clear history here. You can automatically delete trash content automatically delete temporary files and automatically delete and you can set the number of days here so this is screen and these are the screen settings screen lock you can configure blank screen delay and you can change that here to how many minutes yes automatic screen lock automatic screen lock delay lock screen on suspend and show notifications on lock screen so this is online accounts and you can configure online account here this is sharing this is sound and you can configure the sound settings here. This is the power settings. I click on displays. So if you have multiple monitors, you can configure it here. You can mirror it, single display, join displays. There's night light configuration here. Click on mouse and touchpad. You can configure mouse and touchpad settings here. I'll click on keyboard. And you can configure your keyboard settings here. I'll click on printers. And here you can add printers. Just click on add printer. So you can search for a printer by IP address. It's already detecting printers in the network. I'll click on applications. I'll click on utilities. So this is a cosmic screenshot. I'll open it. And I have these options here. Save the documents. Save the pictures. I'll click capture. So this is the files folder.
So I can show hidden files and I can turn on the switch. So I can right click any folder, click on properties. So this is the text editor. So I can add more tabs just by clicking on the plus icon. I can configure the settings, just click on view, click on settings, and I can change the theme. I can change the font here. I can also change the default font size. So there's also an option to enable Vim bindings. So this is the Cosmic App Store. It's in the system folder. So it's listed by categories. This is create and you can download any one of these. This is work. This is develop. This is learn. This is game. This is relax, socialize utilities so these are the installed applications and this is update so I can add more apps on the dock I just have to drag it to the dock for example I'm going to drag this videos app to the dock I'll drag workspaces to the dock so I have some applications open on the desktop. I'm going to click on this so I can automatically tile windows. These are the settings. I'm going to turn this on. And this is how it shows. So I can drag these around. So this is the tile to feature. So these are some of the features of the new Cosmic desktop environment. So I want to thank you for watching and I thank you for subscribing.